Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. Of course, if you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. You guys know how that goes. Um, so like I said, my name is Shannon. My last name is Whittier, in case you're wondering how to pronounce that. I get asked that once in a while. I would change it to my Mary name, which is Shannon Shaw, but I have like an old university account that will let me change it. I think when I get a thousand subscribers, I can. So let's work towards that. Uh, so today's video, as you've seen probably from the title, is going to be talking about what I think is like the best Stila, like the glitter and glow shadows, the best dupe that I have found. I actually have it on my lid today. I have one of these shades on. Um, beautiful beautiful liquid shadow i'm gonna actually do some swatches for you guys i'll do a close-up swatch and then i do already have it on my lid but i may zoom you in and just kind of layer it on because it layers pretty well and you can see how easy it is for application uh, but yeah if you guys are interested in hearing about a dupe for the stilette glitter and glow liquid shadows then just keep watching all right guys so we're gonna hop right into the video so i purchased three of the uh, sparkling eye toppers from profusion um there's a total i think of five shades only that's the only thing that kind of sucks about the range is that there's only five but i hope profusion will expand the line for more colors because obviously the stila glitter and glows have tons of shades but they have been around a lot longer a lot of companies have come out with their own version of dupes for this but i think these are the best ones that I've tried. They look the most similar to in packaging as well as like the applicator. So these really definitely are kind of a dupe for those. And I think for application wise, the way they last, they don't have any follow. I think they're very similar to the Stila ones. So I wanted to pop on camera and talk about them because I know I've tried so many from different brands that I liked, but I never thought they were as good as the Stila ones. And the Stila ones are expensive. In Canada, we pay, I think it's $31 Canadian plus tax on the Sephora website, or even if we go to purchase them in shoppers. Um, and I believe in the US they're like around $25 to $26 a piece, which is pretty pricey for just one liquid eyeshadow, especially when there are quite a few other options that have come out. But I have heard many people say, and I do agree, there's not a ton that are as good of a quality as the Stila ones. So when I found these, I wanted to actually come on camera and show them to you. So I purchased three shades. I purchased the shade Dazzle, Glitz, and Glimmer. So this is what they look like right here. That's the packaging, really, really pretty. This is kind of like a goldy shade. Um, this one here has more of like a pinky kind of copper tone. And this one's kind of copper in like a bronze tone. So these two are kind of similar, but like a little bit different in shade. That's what the actual packaging looks like. You can see it's pretty similar to the Stila ones. I think these are like a little bit larger in comparison to those ones. Um, as far as product amount, how much product do you get in these guys? Let me look at the website. I purchased this right off profusion.com. And let me see if they tell me anything about the size of these guys. So actually they're available in six different um, packages. And these do come with a uh, shadow stick that corresponds with it. I actually have that in my crease, the shadow stick. I think I wore the shade copper today and I just blended it out. The shadow sticks are nice too and they're included with the um, corresponding shade. So you get two things for the $7, which is an amazing price. Even $7 US converted in Canadian is like maybe like $12. So it's really, really inexpensive. And let me see here. They don't have a lot of info on like how much product is in here. And I don't see actually anything on the tube. So I'm not sure how much is actually in these guys, which I wish I could give you guys that info, but there's nothing on the website about that. And I didn't actually keep the boxes that these came in. Uh, but I have been using these a few days now. Like I've tried all the colors and I like them all equally as much. Um, so each set, I'll just read you the description on their site. Each set includes one waterproof shadow stick. I agree with waterproof. These are very budge proof, like the stick shadows, even though I'm not going to talk about those, they're really nice and they accompany these well. Um, they instantly take your look from natural to dazzle with an array of rose gold, silver, and champagne shades. They're available in six different colors as well, like I mentioned. Um, so they have really good reviews. They have 21. There's only 21 reviews, but it's like five star reviews on the website. And I actually did hear Tati actually mentioned these in one of her videos and that was one of the reasons I picked these up um, because I was like, you know, if I can find an actual dupe for the for the Stila ones, then I actually want to try these out because I've tried so many I didn't think were as good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these for you guys. 
So I'll go ahead and swatch these shades. This is the shade, the gold kind of shade, and this is in the shade Dazzle. So I'll put a fairly good swatch on there just so you guys can see what that shade looks like. It's so pretty and the doe foot applicator is pretty much the same as the Stila ones. It's just the flat sided doe foot applicator. I wore this one the other day, so that is it right there. I think you can see the glimmer on that. Really, really pretty. The next one is the shade Glitz. So we'll go ahead and put that one on. And you can smooth these out with like a brush or your finger. Either way it works really, really well. These have so much like sheen to them and they actually have a base which I find nice because you can wear them on your own. So that's that shade right there. Really, really pretty. And then the last one I'm going to show you is the shade Glimmer. We'll go ahead and put that one on. And actually this one is more of the coppery kind of bronzy toned one. The one in the middle does have like champagne vibes actually, like champagne pinky vibes. So there's that one right there on the end. Yeah, they're all really beautiful shades. I'll let them dry down and I'll try to insert a close-up of each of these shades just so you guys can have a look at those. But these are so good. I, I like, I really, really like them. I'll show you the shadow sticks as well. So the shadow sticks I got with these, I got the shade Copper. I got the shade Gold, which of course went with the gold one. And then I also got the shade Bronze, with, which went with the bronzy tone. And this one went with the Copper, went with kind of the champagne tone. And I'll put just a swatch underneath each of these so you guys can see how nice these are. And these do dry down and like really do stay on the lid without creasing. I've worn these the last few days. All right, so underneath here, I put those swatches so you guys can see that. Really, really beautiful. Shadow sticks really accompany the liquid shadows so well, as you can kind of see in the swatches. And for $7, you're really getting your money's worth. Now, I will say to you, um, if you are in Canada like I am, I did have to ship these to my P.O. box in the States. I do live close to a border. So if you're in Canada, I know London Drugs carries like a limited amount of Profusion's products, but I'm not sure if you will find these guys on there, hopefully in the future. Um, I would like to see like someone pick up Profusion more in Canada because like it's really hard to get a hold of their products here which kind of sucks for us but if you are living somewhere close to a border or in the US and you're able to ship it to Canada that's probably the best way to go um, I think they did have an international shipping option to Canada but it was like really expensive so then of course it kind of put up the price of these and the whole point of getting a dupe is to pay less for them so for me I wasn't sure if I wanted to ship them here, so I just shipped them to my box in the States since I had that option. But I wanted to let you guys know that so you didn't go on the site and be like, I can't even order these. But yeah, definitely keep an eye out on London Drugs. They sell some of their products. Hopefully they come on there eventually. Or you might have to order, like pay the extra shipping or order from the States and find a way to ship it to wherever you're at. All right, so I'm going to see you in a bit. I'm going to go in with the shade. The shade that I have on right now I think is... Glitz, this guy right here, the kind of more champagne shade. So I'm going to zoom you in and we'll put a little bit more of that on the lid just so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so I have you zoomed in. So I'm going to go in with that shade in Glitz. So that is that middle shade right there. So we're going to go ahead and go in with that. All right, so let's just add a little bit more on the lid. And if you make a mistake, it's really easy to get this off, so don't worry too much about that. It's great, too, to put in your inner corner. And I usually put a little bit down here as well. But you can see, like, even though I already had that on, you can see, like, the shine payoff in that. It's just, like, so, so beautiful. So it's as easy as that, even when you have nothing on the lid, you can just swipe it on. It'll blend out a little bit around the edges. It doesn't dry. Like it dries in just the right amount of time, in my opinion, very similar to the Stila Glitter and Glows. So that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna zoom you back out. 
All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for this video. You get to see the swatches up close. You also get to see me apply a little bit. I did apply to the other eye as well, just so I kind of evened out. Um, it dries down, like I said, pretty quickly, but like it's about the same as a Stila Glitter and Glow, so you do have some time if you need to blend a little bit into the crease. I personally don't too much because you'll get fallout that way. But for the most part, these don't give any fallout throughout the day. The lasting power is very similar to the Stila ones. Um, it has that kind of base to it as well, which I like. I like that when there's a little bit of a base and it has lots of sparkle in it. Um, similar packaging. I think you probably get about the same amount of products in here. Only downside I would say is that there's only like six shades available. So obviously you don't have as big of a shade range, but hopefully Pure Fusion will see this and make a new shades. Um, like I said, they're only $7 US as well. So, and you get the cream shadow sticks to kind of pair along with them. So I think these are like a great option, a great dupe for the Stila Glitter and Glows. Um, let me know if you found anything that you like better or if you actually have tried these um, because I think they're actually freaking bomb. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, make sure you do give me a thumbs up. You can hit the subscribe button down below if you want to become part of my YouTube family. Um, also hit the bell notification because as I always tell you guys, I am not the most frequent uploader that way you will know when I actually upload a video but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys